Do you skip the surface analysis chart because it looks like chaos with lines everywhere and symbols you only vaguely remember? Do you hope the examiner doesn't ask about it? Well, here's the secret. This chart can tell you a lot about the weather if you know the five things to look for. First, pressure systems. Blue highs are usually your friend. These indicate better weather with fewer surprises. Red lows. If you see these, be suspicious. Lows are where the weather happens. Yellow troughs. If your flight path is in the vicinity of one of these, use caution. Second, fronts and boundaries. Fronts equal change in wind direction, wind speed, air temperature, or all three. And that thin line called the dry line, be wary of it. Thunderstorms can be in the vicinity. Three, wind direction. Surface winds usually follow between 10 to 45 degrees of the isobars. Around highs, winds flow outward and clockwise. Around lows, inward and counterclockwise. Using this rule of thumb, you can often predict wind direction before checking a METAR. Four, wind speeds. Are the isobars close together? That usually means strong winds and possible turbulence. Further apart equals lighter winds. Five, precipitation. This chart shows what's happening right now. Rain, snow, freezing rain, etc. This information is perfect for cross-checking other forecasts and it's one of the fastest ways to understand the big weather picture. Unfortunately, two minutes is not enough to cover everything. If you want more information about surface analysis charts, please watch the linked video.